Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your reading. Before I begin, I just want to say thank you for being here with me. We're going to be looking into the messages here for you, so um, stay tuned. Otherwise, if you did want a private reading, please email me um, and we can go ahead and arrange that for you. Of course, they are subject to availability, but this is a collective message, so it can be for any sign watching. Uh, and we're going to see what's going on, what's coming on, uh, what's coming, what's coming up here for you um, at this present energy. What do you need to know? I was actually thinking about the Knight of Swords before I did this reading, and he actually came out. Okay, there is definitely a situation where things are being rushed. Now, it may be with an air sign. There's something that feels rushed. Um, okay. It's hard to decipher. It could be the past or it could be like a new chapter or there may be a decision. Um, there's like almost like a time limit or a sense of urgency, maybe between the past and a new connection, um, between your past, your history, or things you've done before and something new that's coming in. Um, it's almost like there's a wave of excitement that's filtering through in this reading. Now I've got Aries that has come up twice and I've got the moon that's come up twice. The moon is divine feminine, Aries is that masculine energy and we've got the sun here. So really you've got the sun and the moon. I'm getting that this may be around a divine femme, divine masculine connection. So it is some sort of counterpart or a relationship here. Um, but Aries is Aries energy is the first of the zodiac, so that's where I'm getting that excitement and that newness. Um, I also feel like there's something, there's possibly a new chapter with a person, but it's almost like you have to compete for them in some way. This is, you know, the Emperor is highly, highly competitive. Um, now, this is interesting. You might be connecting or meeting someone who is like really wealthy, they're really attractive, and it's almost like you have to compete with someone. Now, for some of you, you might be competing with their ex. Could be reversed. This new person that's coming up as the Ace of Wands, so like a destined fire energy. Um, you know, where was I going with this? It was vice versa because someone might be competing for you. And it's like you might be talking to your ex or something from your past or an opportunity from the past is coming in. And it's it's getting all your attention. And, you know, this person might be not, not, not be too happy about it. But something is definitely being rushed. Both this knight and king of wands are facing the left-hand side, which is the past. Um, okay, it could be like a past mistake that's being made here. So... I think put yourself on probation. I think if you're seeing this, um, spirit has potentially put you in a situation you've been in before. And I kind of feel like you made some mistakes. Why? Because the fool is also here and the fool also looks to the left. So it might have been a mistake you made or something you did, maybe impulsively. You know, the fool doesn't think about things. Neither does, neither, neither does the Knight of Swords, but neither does the King of Wands. You know, there's not much follow through with these characters. They're all a bit flaky. I don't know if this is a flaky person, someone who's been wishy-washy, or it's like you've been wishy-washy in a situation and you might have sat on an opportunity too long and it passed you by, or you were so back and forth with it, it never eventuated into anything so there might be a lesson here for you to learn and spirit may be putting this in your path here um but some of you don't see it you're blinded to a certain situation or what this is it's almost like some of you are repeating something from the past now i don't know it could be a particular person it could be a cycle it could be a set of behaviors but there's something that's being repeated here the moon is cyclical and it could be on a subconscious level here as well. Um, there could be a connection here to like your past coming up. And it's like you have this subconscious drawing in. Um, this this subconscious energy where you, you're like, I want to go back to this. Or you're doing it on a subconscious level and you're not aware of it now.
I, I feel like there's a lot of thoughts that are flooding in and they're rushing in. This air energy could be an air sign. I feel like there's a lot of thoughts. If you're dealing with an air energy, um, there's a lot of thoughts, but this air energy is rushing. So rushing or racing thoughts, but like it kind of feels self-inflicted. What's going on? If you're having these, like you're having thoughts, but it's like you spin them in a negative light. I think positive thinking is really important here. And, and self-love, I'm getting self-love self -love with the moon. There's a thought you have and it's like a desired outcome. It's something that you want, but every time you think about it, you like, you're like, oh no, it's not gonna happen because how is this gonna happen? How is that possible? Like, it's almost like you're trying to understand the mechanisms of things and you're rushing these thoughts. I'm getting dismissive thoughts. Uh, so you might be brushing this off or it could be an air sign who feels like you're brushing them off could be that as well um i don't know it's taking you to a dark place here but it doesn't have to be that way you've got the sun the sun which is harmony so i think like you know maybe there's there's an excitement here and like i said this wave this surge of energy but it's being channeled in a more insecure way or you're not looking at the brighter side of things. It's like you're you're flocking straight to that. Could also be an air sign who's having some insecurities about you or mentally someone is. Divine masculine, divine femme came up. Um, strong water energy cancer. There might be someone who's missing you here um, or an opportunity that's, that's, that's beckoning from the past. Um, it could be around a feminine person or a feminine energy. Um, but this, this, this moon is like the notion of home. So somehow this connection is like you, this could be about like living together with someone, or it could be like you're focusing more on the home and settling down more. You're, you're craving more emotional stability than you've previously had. Um, but some of you are rushing it. It's like something's happened. I don't know if you just had a birthday or your best friend's just gotten hitched or fallen pregnant or is divorced and then met someone new. It's like other people around you are moving on and some of you feel like you're stuck. You're stuck in this little bubble and you're craving more emotional security. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel like that epiphany that you're having could be your subconscious telling you, hey, you know, this is this is your inner self, your guardian angel saying, hey, you know, we want more out of life or we're better than this. We want something different. So like consider it a sign from your divine self, from your higher self that you do want something more. Um, you know, and this is spirit, um, and this is like spirit, uh, God, that's, that's, that's telling you this, um, there's something about a trip coming up or someone foreign or overseas, it could be someone from the past and they may be coming back around, there could be a very unexpected reunion for some of you that you didn't really see coming, because I'm getting lots of, um, this is physical movement. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone here who wants to live with you. They may ask this. They may talk to you and say, you know, like, I'm keen to live together. This is what I want. You know, where are you at? What are you feeling? That could come by surprise. Um, I don't know. It's challenging because I feel like there might be someone here that wants to control you. Not that it's not coming from a good place, but I feel like there's someone here who wants you close to them rather than not. It could come from a place of like power and control, maybe. It's their way of sort of ha having that, um, having that control over you or needing to have that control over you. It could be someone older, um, someone in that emperor energy i have a couple of fours so i feel like there's some inner work that's going on here for you it could be it could be why you're having all this like sudden change in energy like 
it's it's kind of like an exciting slash unsettling energy um but it's happening very quickly so i don't know if the universe wants you to slow down but some of you might be making very impulsive decisions but they're not little like these decisions are like i'm moving overseas i'm moving abroad i'm moving out i'm doing this like i'm you, you know they're their physical moves that are taking you outside of your comfort zone outside of what you know outside of your surroundings and you're heading into that other energy instead okay what else what else do we need to know i'm getting like there's a lot of okay wow there's a lot of different things happening or things loose ends you've got to tie up definitely a water sign coming through there's someone someone wanting to offer you their heart um someone about to be more emotionally vulnerable with you okay we've got this pairing where is the pairing we've got the queen and the king of swords anyone dealing with an air sign um or this is your counterpart um I get that there's going to be a breakthrough between you and this person, even if it's not an air sign. You're on the same page, is what I'm getting. See these two birds? They're coalescing, they're agreeing, they're, they're flowing in harmony. Now, this is all about the way we think and what we say, and also our inner dialogue. Um, it could be that something that's been on your mind, that erratic energy. You're going to speak to someone or have this conversation and it's almost like they're instantly going to calm you or tell you something that is really going to resonate and something will just click internally and you're almost going to have this light bulb moment. Um, whoever this energy is, I feel like they're really good for you and I feel like that conversation um, that you do end up having together, I feel like that's going to really, um, really solidify things between the both of you. It's really going to put you in um, a better place together. But there is there is an air coupling up that's definitely coming through. So air and air is definitely getting together, hooking up, linking up. Um, the female energy faces the male. So I don't know if this is the female that will be the initiator um, of a conversation or of a text or something like this. But that's definitely that pairing is happening. There's a water sign here for some of you that's that they're wanting something big. Okay, they're they're almost like falling in love. They're almost like they're in another world when they're with you. Could be a divine femme that's feeling this way uh, about a divine masculine. Um Okay, this person feels like you're in their path for a reason. I get that they have something big to offer, and I feel like it's their heart. They're wearing their heart on the sleeve, so I'm getting a very genuine energy from this person. But the past is linked to them, or this is someone who's missing you. Like, they're super, super sentimental. Okay, what is this? This fire energy is challenging. I'm getting a fire sign maybe testing some of you. Where else, where else was I seeing fire? Ah, yes, the Ace of Wands. Okay. A fire sign could be someone at a distance. Um, okay, there could be a fire sign who's not doing too well, actually. And they're, it's almost like they're not doing too well, but they want to see if you're going to stick around and help them through it. Or they're going to see, you know, if you can handle the heat. Can't handle the heat? Get out of the kitchen. I'm getting this sign is doing it to you on purpose. Um, I'm getting it's someone who is quite tough natured or, you know, it's someone who's given you tough love before. It doesn't have to be romantic, but I feel like there is a fire energy who is testing you and they want to see how resilient you are, um, because they're resilient and they treat these qualities in people very, 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 very highly. Um, so I feel like the fool, the emperor puppets the fool, so some of you might be in a situation where it's like whatever someone says or wants you to do for them or believes you should do for them it's almost like some of you are running off and doing it um you might not even know it again i mentioned being blinded to a situation not seeing it and it might you know someone might tell you about it someone from the outside might say it but i'm getting a fire sign is definitely testing some of you it could be someone who's also like long distance 
uh, or someone who's foreign, um, older. Um, but the fool like entertains the emperor. So the fool to me is like that court gesture, gesture in medieval energy. And um, he entertains the emperor. It's there for his pleasure, his amusement. Could be a fire sign trying to amuse themselves with you vice versa it could be uh, could be reversed you might be the fire sign and you're taking pleasure you're taking yeah you're taking some pleasure in this hmm but there could be a point where it gets to like a breaking point with the ten of ones so i guess you have to be mindful of that um but it also could be reflective of what this person is going through, going through, that they've got a burden on their shoulders and they're kind of doing it all themselves, but they want to. It's like, you might have offered your help. You might have said, you know what, I'm here for you. Let me be there for you. Let me help. Let me do something for you. Or maybe you just, you know, took that initiative on your own. Um, but yeah, my, my spidey sense is telling me that this person might be testing you in a way. Um, Maybe they want you to let them do things on their own. Maybe they don't, not that they don't, they don't want your help, but I feel like they could be testing themselves in some way. They don't want to grow too reliant on you. Okay, I'm getting an avoidant energy. So it might be someone who's, who's been upset before. Okay, they've been hurt before because someone wasn't there for them or could be something to do with their, um, with their upbringing. Okay, what is going on with this air sign? Five of Swords, someone can't walk away. They try to walk away. They don't want to walk away. They're coming back. There is a reconnection. I feel like some of you will be speaking to this person again. Um, it may have ended with cheating, scandal, or a third party, or an additional priority that interjected in the relationship. But there might be an air sign that's still sort of... I'm getting someone who's still hurt or bitter about a situation, but they want to speak. They want to talk it out. I'm getting that their anxiety is building up. So if you've been MIA or you haven't been as responsive or you've just been doing your own thing, this person has picked up on it subconsciously, energetically, and, you know, I often associate this card with regret. So there might be an air sign who's regretting something with you. Um, they're picking up the pieces. It's like a card of processing things. So in my mind, I feel like this person is processing some stuff that's going on with them. Uh, or they need to process it. Um, maybe they will end up having the epiphany about you. Um, but I definitely feel like there is someone on speaking terms or clicking. Like it's a just, just really clicking. It might be someone new that you're meeting. Um, platonic, romantically. But... It's just an instant kind of connection. Um, it really is beautiful. But very, very interesting. So hopefully that reading has helped you. Thank you again, everyone, for being here with me. It really does mean so, so much. Feel free to drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you join my little YouTube fam. Um, otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch very, very soon. So lots of love and angel blessings, and bye for now.